What's happening? It's your boy Papa Duck back with another video. You dig? Listen, if you on YouTube, make sure you smash that subscribe button if you ain't already subscribed. And also, hit that like button. It ain't gonna take it but a split second. When you hit the like button, it shows the video to more people. Also, look below. You will see our merchandise. Appreciate everybody that been buying off our merch store. And we got some new drip coming real soon, too. Thank y'all so much. All proceeds go to this channel. This is how we spread this message. And if you want to promote your brand on this channel, just go to popadubpromo at gmail.com or look below and get the information. Let's get it cracking. Now, listen, now that I got that out the way, I want y'all to understand something, right? I was going through one of my old videos, right? And somebody was saying something about when I said something about the troops going over there to fight for America, this and that. They weren't disrespectful in that because I, I, you know, I respect everybody's opinion. But I'm going to tell you like this here. I don't got nothing to do with nobody else. Me personally, I'm not going to fight no damn war for something I didn't start. First of all, that don't make sense. Second of all, where the hell was they when I was doing bad? When my family was doing bad? When we were eating ramen noodles? You feel me? Trying to struggle to pay these bills. Where was they? You mean tell me they went go start some bullshit? Then come tell me to myself, oh we got, we got, oh we got to go fight? Nigga, man, y'all a bunch. Listen, look how they do our troops that co the, the, the troops that go over there and come back. No folk that put their life on the line, leave their families over here stressing to go fight a war for something. They don't even know what the hell going on. And them folk come back over here. Y'all see them at the store, at Publix, at the, at the, you know what I'm saying, the grocery store. They selling memorabilia. They selling hats, pins. Man, that shit's sad, man. That's what America care about you. And you think I'm finna go? See, something, sometimes, and I'm not speaking about everybody, but some people... Act like they don't got it up here. So I don't, I, that's on you. You feel me? For, for the ones who went, put their life on the line and came back and they getting drugged through the mud, man. They want to get these folk, they, they, they don't want to diagnose these folk with this bullshit. Don't want to help these folks. You feel me? Don't want to give them nothing. Like, come on, man. They ain't talking about the little few people that, that, that do benefit from, you know, you know, it's a lot of people that go to the VA hospitals and all that. Excuse me. They don't get, they just do. They don't get what they supposed to get. They get drawed through the mud. These folk can't even find a fucking job. And you, t you, t you think I'm finna go over there and, and and fight when I don't even know what the hell going on? Man, you crazy as hell, man. I rather tongue kiss a rather snake before I do that. And I have nothing against nobody that do that. That's something you want to do. Then go do it. Go fight for your country. Maybe you feel differently about your country than I do. So respect you. Respect me. But I see what's going on. It's sad, man, how they treat these folk, man. Y'all, man, if you got any people that's in the army and went over there and came back and they dragged them through the mud, man, put it in the comments. You feel me? They pay these people to recruit people. And I ain't saying it, it haven't been no successful people that went into the army or, or, or into the Navy or to the military or whatever the case may be. I'm not saying that. I'm not speaking on that. But I am speaking on the way they dragged them folk that went over there and fought for their ragged ass and they won't help them out. I, I, I damn sure got something to say about that. Yes, I do. So at the end of the day, it's a lot of people, man. And I'm telling you, look it up. It's a lot of people they giving, they, they, oh, he got postpartum distress and he this, that, and whoop de whoop de whoop. Man, these folk went over there and did something they ain't never did. First of all, a lot of them got lied to. And when they got over there, they really saw what was really going on. I'm not doing that. These people ain't finna play with me like that. Uh-uh, hell no. Not gonna happen. I'm not gonna do it. And all I'm saying is this. Respect that. I got all the reason and the right and all in the world not to go. Man, I'm fighting a wall right here. Right here. I'm gonna tell y'all something. And it's a bigger plot than that, okay? These folks sent us over there with this fake war. That's what they do. It be fake wars. You know what I'm saying? All them people in cahoots. All the top national... Listen, all these countries that you see, they all together. I told you they're a gang. That's the real gang game. Australia with China, China with Japan, Japan with America, all the motherfuckers, all of them in cahoots. Trust me when I tell you. And they just tell us, the people, what they want to tell us. Y'all better wake the hell up. And like I say, I ain't got nothing against nobody that either over there, went over there, or want to go over there. But you got to respect me too when I see what they do to their people. And I say, hell no, nah, I don't want to go. So it's all to each his own, baby. The proof is in the pudding. That's all I'm saying. I ain't got nothing to do with that. I don't know what the hell going on. They ain't finna get me to go over there to my going. Oh, I'll give you some college. See, when they go, when they go to my, oh, we'll give you free college. We'll give you free this, free that. You better be real with that word free. Because like my mama always say, ain't that free? Ain't that free? 
And like I say, if that's something you got to do and want to do, bro, you got my blessings. All I'm saying is know what you up against, okay? Because like I say, don't blame nobody for what, you know, you see going on and happen to you. And it's sad, man, how they do these people, man. These people ain't got the right medical uh, insurance. They can't get this. They can't work. They can't do that. All call they went over there, got beat up. Not physically beat up, but I'm talking about beat up mentally. Leak their family. You know what I'm saying? You got to send pictures home to your family. You got to trust the person you with. It's a lot that come with it. And I commend those who went and did their thing. I really do. But it just ain't right the way when they come back over here, man, and, and they treat these folk like this. So that shit ain't right. You can't keep... I don't sweep nothing under the rug. I don't do that. That ain't me. You got to be all the way right or you all the way wrong. That's all I'm saying. And like I say, man, for the for the um for the for the um for the guy that said something against my comment, man, like I said, I respect how you feel. But all I'm saying is this, bro. I'm not finna go fight no war for a country that I know that mislead they people, do all type of shit to control them. Uh uh, will go to the extent, when I mean extent, I mean put your ass under the ground to get their agendas across, as you can see, as of what's going on. Hell no. You got me, man, ain't nowhere in the hell. I'm not doing that. I don't give a damn what nobody say. And there's no, no disrespect. But respect me. It's all it's about. Respect. It's sad, man. If y'all got any people, your grandma, granddaddy, uncle, cousin, brother, sister, daddy, homeboy, next door neighbor, your school teacher, I don't care. Anybody you know that's going through this, that done went and fought and served for the country, came back and got no love. All doors shot in their face. You feel me? Put it in the comments. Tell your story. Because they, they read the comments. I read the comments. And all I'm saying is, honestly, man, it is screwed up, man, how these fuck go over there, come over here, and ain't got no love. But it was all good when they went. You feel me? It was all, when they went over there and fought for the country, it was all good. Now it ain't no love. And we ain't going for that. So like I say, man, I just want to put that video out there to let y'all know that all these nations are together, man. Don't be fooled by this, man. Don't, don't be fooled by this. There's nothing good about this country as far as, like, honesty. Oh, you're supposed to get it honestly. America is built on blood. They took, stole, killed, and did everything above to get this land. Okay? And they still doing it to keep in control of it. You better wake the hell up. Stop fooling yourself and stop thinking that we was born to live the way we live. You think God said, hmm, I want y'all to um, be born and pay bills every 30 days. And when 30 days is up, y'all do it over again. And do it over again for your rest of your life. If you believe that bullshit, something wrong with you. Something is wrong with you. You need to pull yourself out the matrix and realize this ain't how we supposed to be living. We supposed to be fighting no war for people we don't even know. Why you think they came up with government? Why you think they came up with this whole construct, this whole landscape, in order to control the people? People obey laws, and not a, and it's an invisible leash. People will obey laws, even though the, the lawmakers ain't even in front of you. In front of you, they got us here, and they created a society where that works. Because everybody under this spell, the police officers, everybody, the, the, the law enforcement, they under that spell. If that person do something wrong, they supposed to go get them. And everybody agree with it. We under this spell. That's all it is, a spell. Okay? So with that being said, man, I ain't mean to um, offend nobody, but I'm damn sure going to speak my truth. And that's just what we do on this channel. I respect everybody's opinion, man. I do. I really do. I don't judge. All I ask is that you respect my opinion, too. And we keep it moving, man. That's it. So, with that being said, man, I hope I hadn't offended nobody. And if I did, I'm sorry in advance. But guess what, though? It is what it is. Okay? It's all love, baby. It's your boy, Papa Doug. And like I always tell y'all, until the next video, peace. All right?